Hi Taurus, this is Aquila for your monthly reading for the month of May 2015. First, I would like to say happy birthday to all the Tauruses that celebrate their lovely birthdays on this beautiful month. Uh, I love May. Okay, so let's start on your reading, um, Taurus. On the third, we have um, a full moon in your seventh house of partnership and marriage and relationship. So basically the relationships that you have with other people, Taurus. Now, this full moon is going to be squaring Jupiter in your fourth house. So that may be a little bit of tension um, there. This full moon is in Scorpio. That's your opposite sign. And it's basically directing your, your attention inward to issues and places you really don't want to go into. Scorpio is a very intense sign. It's very uh, intimate sign. So this is a part of you that you're going to have to go into that you really don't really want to do, but you're going to have to be confronting um, truths uh, around this full moon, Taurus, and basically changing your perception on things. But see, it's, it's squaring Jupiter. And the wonderful thing about Jupiter is that Jupiter magnifies everything it touches so it's definitely going to be daring you to be optimistic you know scorpio is definitely a uh, intense sign so there is a lot of optimism there with it squaring with jupiter there is positive hope and full moons as we know is a, a time to start something new taurus a time to cultivate something new to set new intentions and this full moon is going to be happening in your seventh house so this is a chance for you to experience a fresh start in something if something was stagnant this is going to help it move and uh change your perspective change excuse me change your perspective perspective on things the first card that i got for you is harmony card and it's an emotional card, Taurus. This is a happiness, joy, uh, emotional joy. It's, a, it's all about your emotions, feeling fulfilled in a relationship, um, basically sharing more time with your family, uh, also your birthdays here. So that may also be an indication of that. Um, creating life that basically aligns, a life that aligns with your goals, your values, the way that you want to see yourself right now, Taurus. It's your solar year. So make those wishes come true, you know, make what you want your reality it's it's there for you just set those intentions on the seventh we have venus the planet of love and money and pleasure moving into your third house of communication day-to-day -day travel um your relationships with your neighbors and siblings so there's going to be um some good uh, energy there you're going to be um feeling really good about a lot of things with um this venus in your third house your communication is going to be um, on uh, the finer things that you like to to do, the things that you like to enjoy. It is your birthday, so there's definitely a time for Venus to be in a wonderful part of your chart, and that's your communication skills, so that's going to be good. On the 11th Taurus, we have Mars, the planet of action and aggression, um, and, at, and, and determination, moving into your second house of possessions, and the things that you value, Taurus, basically your money. <laughs> so um, you're going to be really driven around the middle of the month of May to really go after gusto, kind of what you want with that charge, with that uh, Mar Martian energy. You're going to be driven to go and make money or to go and um, pursue things that you value or something of that sort thing. You're, you're going to have the, the drive, the energy around the 11th onward. On the 18th, we have Taurus. A new moon in where? Your first house of self. Yep, you got that. And it's a new moon, um, and it's going to be having an opposition with Saturn, uh, which is in your eighth house right now. So there is going to be, you know, with an opposition, basically you're fostering awareness around this time. This is a new moon. This is a new time of thinking, a new way of looking at things. And your eighth house is your house of regeneration, Taurus. So that does signify some eighth house, um, intimacy, uh, sex, um, enjoyment of things that are a little bit taboo, uh, your partner's money, uh, properties and things of that sort. So there is going to be some pondering about things, things of that nature, um, around that time. And the card that I got for you, the second card is creativity. So this is basically treating yourself like creating and beautifying your life, um, discovering new ways to express yourself. So 
we do have this new moon. This is going to be a new way of you thinking. You're going to want to relax also. So this is going to be you thinking about your uh, relationships, your money, and the way that you can change things. Basically, um, taking care of yourself and then keeping emotions like in check at the same time while like analyzing those parts of your chart as well. And then on the 18th, Taurus, we have Mercury retrograding in your second house of possessions and the things that you value. So your your Mercury's retrograding. So when Mercury retrogrades, we we all know, okay, it's always a time to check details, check double check emails and messages being sent. Everything that Mercury controls is about communication. Um, making sure that your messages went through. Sometimes you think they do in a Mercury retrograde and it really doesn't. And then it communication mix up comes up. People pop up out of nowhere. You know, um, so Pay attention to your money. Pay attention to your property. Pay attention to anything fine print that you're doing. Um, pay attention to anything that you're signing around this time. Read the fine print very well. It's very important while Mercury's retrograding because it really slows down communication and it's not really the same way that it usually is. So make sure you pay attention to that as well, Taurus. And on um, the 21st, we have the sun moving into your second house also. So your money, your things that you own, things that you value, there's going to be a big focus around that at around the end of the month. You're going to be focusing on your chiching, your dough. Um, you want to make sure that you put all that energy into there with the sun entering. And then the sun is going to be conjunct Mercury in your second um, house of possessions. And Mercury is going to be retrograding. So sun illuminating it. Uh, Mars is already there, and then you have, and then you have um, Mercury retrograding. So you're also reflecting on things. You're reflecting. You're trying to see what you can change uh, with your finances or things that you that you own or things that you value. Um, and the last card that I got for you is conditioning card so this is basically conditioning yourself for change this is a deaf card actually this is card of you basically <laughs> killing the old ways of doing things and trying to think about new ways that you can positively go forward in um in this way with your second house so you do have to think differently think big Taurus because this new moon only happens once a year for you and this is a really big time for you to cultivate that it's your birthday month it's springtime I love love Taurus energy it's such a down-to-earth feel um, thank you to all the Tauruses for subscribing and liking and I hope that you enjoy your birthday continue watching I have more videos to come thank you